Welcome to the farm blog. Today we are doing a woodworking project. We are going to build a scrap wood piece holder because we have lots of projects on the farm and we're constantly having excess materials that we just really need to keep organized. Plus, when we moved into this place, we found a bunch of building supplies from various parts of the house, crown molding, etc., that were left over and they were all just thrown into the basement where spiders set up shop. So we cleared all that out and we don't have a place to put it. So we're gonna make one. Uh, so come along with us today. I'm sure we'll find plenty of spiders in that wood pile over there. Maybe you'll even hear me scream. All right, the next piece will be this one. Get it out here. This one will be cutting down. We're only going to get two cuts here per board for these 45 inches. Good. Another piece is here. Very good. Before we make our cuts, I actually have to fix my sled. This sled was one of the first woodworking projects I actually ever did. And when I made it, I made it in Colorado. Now, we are in Missouri now. The difference in moisture between Colorado and here is night and day. And so my theory is what has happened is the moisture has actually expanded the, uh, basically the tracks on my sled and it no longer slides nicely through my uh, table saw. So I'm going to try to gently sand down the edges a little bit in an effort to get the sliding to happen again. So there we go, we're starting to move. I'm still getting a little bit of binding, almost no shifting. It. Let's get our cuts made. First things first, ear protection and eye protection. Okay, so the next step is we're going to put pocket holes in each end of the board. There. Frame done. All right, after we get the base complete, <laughs> we next put in the caster wheels. All right, casters are on. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. We made a lot more progress yesterday that I didn't get to film because I ran out of batteries. But what we did, was we got the base put together, which is this bottom part here. We got our two side walls put together, which is this part here and this part here. And actually, really, all these two side walls are is just 
another base, and another base. And then we pocket screwed everything into place, including the pocket screws that come up from the bottom. So you can maybe see the pocket hole in there, but there's a screw that goes up through there, and that's what's attaching these side walls to our base. I'm hoping that's strong enough. So there we go. We are working on the uh, supports, basically the support framing. So we're gonna attach support beams here and there to the other wall, um, and some, same on the other side. So that's what we're doing next. It doesn't move. No, sure don't.